Online shopping may be a blessing for anyone looking to avoid the mayhem at the malls, but for many families in the U.S., it's translated into disappointment. Shipping giants UPS and FedEx are apologizing tonight after some customers were left with nothing to put under the tree. As Brian Moore reports, the companies blame bad weather and a glut of online orders for the blender. On Christmas Day at the Madsen home, the space under the tree was bare. Those awesome gifts mom Vicky bought for her youngest daughter lost somewhere in shipping limbo. I was really excited. I couldn't wait to see her face. And it didn't happen. So I was disappointed. UPS and FedEx are apologizing today, saying they were overwhelmed by waves of foul weather and an online shopping tsunami that made this promise impossible to keep. If you pick it up on the 23rd, our next day air service will get it to you by Christmas. Promise? <laughs> promise. <laughs> But it was no laughing matter for customers. I want my package. Like, I want it today. FedEx and UPS insist the number of packages delayed amounts to a small percentage. Online shopping in the U.S. jumped 9% in the weeks before Christmas. And the shippers were forced to rent extra trucks and hire more workers. Some of them, though, seemed a little bit less conscientious than others. Do you guys throw these boxes on the pavement? It is what it is. Christmas was ruined for thousands of Americans. UPS and FedEx are taking a PR pummeling from angry customers who've jammed social media with their complaints. Still, it's not like Americans can take their shipping elsewhere. What retailer out there wouldn't love to say, gee, I have so much business, I can't deal with all of it. The Madsons muddled through their giftless Christmas. We got to watch the dogs play, and we got to talk with the family and everything, and it was actually pretty fun. But not everyone is so forgiving of the shipping giants now on Santa's naughty list for failing to deliver. Brian Moore, Global News, Washington.